I come to you today from the floor to do an empties video. I used up some stuff and it's in this box here and I'm gonna show it to you now. Starting things off, I have uh, a lot of the Body Shop Body Butters here. They were having a huge sale and despite the fact that I never actually really tried very many or any of their products, I bought like $50 worth of body butters and body scrubs and stuff and then they all arrived and I realized that I kind of hate the Body Shop Body Butters. They just leave my skin really sticky. They don't absorb well at all. They were fine, I just I prefer others. I'll go through the scents really quickly. I have a regular size and a travel size of the olive oil, which is a really lovely fresh scent and I really liked that part of it. Then I have a regular size of the Shea, which was also really nice. I also quite liked this. It's much warmer than the olive oil was, um, but it's not overly sweet. It's just very fresh and clean, but a bit warmer, like I said. And then I have like a jumbo size of the mango body butter, which uh, I just don't really like fruity scents. Um, this smells quite sweet in the thing, but when you actually put it on, it smells like... sticky. I also got a couple body scrubs along with the body butters. This is the mango sugar body scrub, which smells pretty much exactly the same as the body butter did. Uh, I did not really like the sugar scrub part of it. It was... It, the sugar just dissolved. It didn't actually do very much exfoliating and it was really oily and left the whole bottom of my shower uh, slippery and uh, unpleasant. I'm just not impressed with this as a body scrub. And I also got the pink grapefruit body scrub jelly. This is just a travel size version. This smells like grapefruit and I actually didn't mind this even though I said I don't really like fruity scents, but this is because grapefruit's so tart it wasn't as sweet uh, as other fruity scents tend to be, so I liked that about it. If I recall, I did like this formula of body scrub better because it was not as slippery and oily, but it was quite harsh and I have very sensitive skin and exfoliating the dry parts with something this harsh just made them worse. I guess I just think I'm not really an exfoliant person. And also, while The Body Shop is a cruelty-free brand, their parent company does test on animals, so... I mentioned before that I have tried better body butters than The Body Shop, uh, and my favorite is by the Yes to Carrots brand. This is not the body butter. This is the Daily Moisture Body Lotion. It's not as good as the body butter. Uh, I have very dry skin, but this is good. I used it during the summer. It smells just like the body butter, which I don't know. It kind of reminds me of babies. That's really weird. I don't go around smelling babies. Next, I have a jar of honey. This is the YS Organic Bee Farms 100% Certified Organic Raw Honey. I use this as a facial cleanser. I also use it as a mask fairly often. If you don't know, honey is really good for the skin. It has uh, antimicrobial properties or antibacterial or anti-inflammatory properties. Basically it just means it's good for acne, it's good for calming down inflammation and infections and cleaning it out and that kind of thing. I think, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a dermatologist, um, I just read some things on the internet. Honey is also a humectant, which means it helps retain moisture within the skin. Um, I have acne, but I also have extremely dry skin, and I also have very sensitive skin. So this is just like a miracle product. It's really better to get raw and organic honey if you want to use it as a skincare thing. When it's raw, it hasn't been as uh, filtered and purified, so all those enzymes that do all that good stuff for your skin are still active in it. And I know honey can be really expensive, and it's extremely hard to find raw organic honey, at least where I live. But miraculously, this jar cost me like $4, which is like really cheap for honey, first of all, and like super cheap when you are thinking about it in terms of like a skincare product. $4 for a cleanser? I'm actually already like halfway through another jar of this, so this is kind of a holy grail for me. The next thing I have is a skincare system from Alafia, which is a really wonderful brand. They use fair trade ingredients from parts of Africa and they're focused on empowering those communities. They do a lot of gender equality work and they're just wonderful. I actually heard about them through my job at Everyday Feminism, weirdly enough. This is the Neem and Shea Butter Skin Recovery line. This line is supposed to be for ultra dry or acne prone skin. It's like they're intense, really, if you have problem skin, this is what you should use. And I gotta say, it was great. It was not too harsh for my skin. I really liked that it was both for acne prone and ultra dry because I have 
both of those. I think I might have gone through three of these actually before I tried something new with my skincare. And I only did that because, you know, I kind of just wanted to try something new. Um, but I liked this. I really, really liked this. Definitely recommend it. And they have a few other lines if this is not your skin type. They have um, two or three more or four, five. They have a lot. Next, I have a bottle of lavender water. This is from Home Health. Oh, it smells so good. I would use it when I was doing my makeup. I know it's not a setting spray, but it just feels really nice and fresh. I've since realized that you probably shouldn't put lavender oil on your skin. It's not really a good idea to put any fragranced oil on your skin. And this, you know, it didn't really calm down my skin, but it calmed down my mind. I have four Lush products here. Oh wait, I only have three because two of them are the same. Huh. I have two containers of the Ultra Bland Facial Cleanser. It's like toted as their number one desert island product. Um, if you apparently, if you just use this for a month, it will totally even out your complexion and make you perfect and whatever. I use this in the evening to remove my makeup and cleanse my face. It's like a beeswax based cream that you rub in all over your face and then you take a warm wet washcloth and you just wipe it all away and it takes all your makeup off, removes impurities, whatever that means. I like that you don't have to get your face wet in the evening. I think that just dries my skin out. So I like that you don't have to do that with this. Uh, it feels really weird because it's like it's beeswax and it's really oily and it feels like it shouldn't do good things for your skin. But when you wipe it all off it does leave you very soft and clean. I feel like it does remove my makeup. I don't think it's the miracle product that they say it is, at least not for me, but I quite like it, so I'm just gonna keep using it until I find something better, which maybe never. We'll see. I have Skin Drink, which is a facial moisturizer from Lush. It's their most moisturizing facial lotion. I really liked this a lot. It smells fucking weird. It's like sesame oil. I used this all last winter when my skin was just so dry, so dehydrated all the time. Uh, and it was the only thing that worked. Um, I finished using it up recently, and I think I might have to get a new one. I just bought another one of their lotions, and it's just not cutting it, you know? It's just not moisturizing enough. So, if you have extremely dry skin, definitely recommend Skin Drink. The last Lush product is one of their fresh face masks. This is Catastrophe Cosmetic. It's the blueberry one. Oh, it smells so Good. It smells like blueberry and calamine lotion, which makes sense because those are like the two main ingredients in this. The descriptions of this are really vague. They just kind of say that you should use it all the time to avoid catastrophe, which I don't really know what that means. I don't think it has a specific purpose like uh, being moisturizing or removing oils or anything like that. I think it's just supposed to be calming and nice. Um, which I can say that it was. And when I washed it off, my skin felt so soft. It was a little dry, a little tough to work with. And then when it dries on your face, it like cracks and peels off and falls off quite a bit. Let me know if you have a favorite fresh face mask in the comments. And the last thing, the only makeup product that I actually have is the Tarte Amazonian Pressed Finishing Powder. And you know, it was fine. It was a powder. All right, that's it. I can finally throw all of this stuff away, except for the Lush containers. Um, oh, kitty, come say hi to the YouTube. It's my kitty. You took my Owen. Bye.